I've talked up a massive game, and that can sometimes be your uh, your, down, your downfall. And, and Jez here has been really quiet and given nothing. Uh, Jez Green, Andy's uh, fitness and strength trainer, and, uh, and myself uh, are going to go out at 200 metres. And it all started back at the Australian Open when there was a bit of banter between the two teams, and uh, we chose the 200 metres as probably our feature event. Three or four? Lane three or four? You go lane three? Lane three for Jez. Okay. Oh. I hope Jez has done some training. I don't think he'll want to lose. I, I hope he wins. Unfortunately, I'm going with Roger Rashid, a former fellow player. Um, he's going to take it today in the 200 metres. Jess probably won't speak to me again about it after this, but if he wins, I'm sure I won't hear the end of it as well. That's something nice and we can laugh a little bit and uh, it's definitely something to, to take our, our heads off a little bit and uh, it's something exciting in the same time and uh, happy that also Andy can come along and, um, and just, uh, just support all that. Hi. Hi. That's a lucky moment for you. Well, I, I like to crush the opposition and, you know, just the talk from Andy. I mean, I wish I was taking on Andy, to be perfectly honest, because I think I'd have him as well covered. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I was nervous last night. I slept, I watched a little bit of Usain Bolt. I tried to get similar type of techniques. I've put myself under video surveillance. Uh, but I've bounced out extremely excited and, uh, more importantly, I do it for the, for the Kids of My Foundation, which is pretty cool. <laughs> what is your boy wearing? That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, the outfit's important, I mean, because if you can't run, you better look good, you know, because you, you've got to at least impress at the starting blocks, and then, you know, if someone beats you and they beat you by 50, at least you've looked good at the start. I ran in spikes once, and I thought I was going to pay my, my cap. No, I might be a blimp, and I might be a long way from the finish line when Jess crosses it, but I'm hoping that somehow, deep inside, I'll be able to wheel myself to the post. Thank you very much. Good luck, man. Yeah, good luck, man. Thanks very much. I'm sure you do well. Looking good, man. Stuff, man, come on. Hey! How are you? Players Andy Murray and Dimitrescu, I believe, on Queens on Sunday have had a slight bet with their coaches over who would win over 200 metres. I can't believe there's this many people here. I'm videoing it. Oh. It's tight. Tight. It's tight. It's tight. It's pretty tight. Oh. It's pretty tight. Let's go around. It's pretty tight. Go on, Jez. Go around. Go on, Jez. Go. Go on, Jez. Push it. Go around. Go on, Jez. Go around. Yes, baby. Quieter. 25. Quieter. 26, 25. 26, That's good, right? 25. That's a very good count. 26, 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Round straight and Well done. Uh, it's Roger Rashid Sports Foundation. We're using sport as a medicine to save kids' lives uh, in Australia, and we what, and hopefully I'll eventually take it around the world. But uh, in extreme disadvantaged communities, you know, sport it can be a really driving factor in, in directing them in life, and especially in those communities. And uh, we go into those communities, source them out, work with them, create infrastructure, sporting infrastructure, then give them coaching for free, and then try and transition them into clubs if we can. So all this, all of a sudden, is at their doorstep, and it gives them a pathway through life.